So welcome to the MTBR Hacker Garage, where we experiment and do some crazy things. And we have some amazing news today, some really good news and some not so good news, but generally good news. Okay, the really good news is you've heard of the Gen 3 Levo and it's a, it's a, it's crazy price, 13 grand, 15 grand until the cheaper models come out. It has this feature called the Mastermind TCU. They finally put a bike computer uh, for an e-bike, which is actually kind of important, right? And they finally did it, and they did it in such a slick manner that everyone's like, whoa, what's going on there? Um, so it's right here, and I'll, I'll show you all the screens and whatnot. And people were wondering, that's nice, but I can't afford that. Can I just get the computer for my Levo? And I'm here to tell you that it works. Works for the Levo, works for the Levo SL, and I'm gonna go through all the screens and show you what, what it does. And that's the great news. You know, kudos, you know, hats off to Specialize for making it backward compatible. Uh, they're gonna give something to the existing user base to make, because uh, they're, they're still gonna sell those Levos and SLs anyway, make those even more competitive than they are now, and really give something for customer loyalty for the existing uh, customers that are loyal to the brand, right? So little bit of advantage. I, I don't know when the other companies are going to catch up to this. This is pretty brown, groundbreaking stuff, you know, with all these screens and this app, whatnot. So cool that it works. A little bit of bad news is it's not available today. The issue is supply chain issues. You know, it's going to be, they're going to move mountains to get as many of those. I don't know if you can see it's back there those Gen 3 Levos out there, but they all, they all need the computer. And so they're gonna need a supply of these computers to sell to you aftermarket. And I bet you they're gonna have a couple thousand units to sell and they're gonna sell out. You're gonna see them on eBay and whatnot. So it's gonna be a tough one, but you know, a little bit of bright news that, hey, your, your existing bike, you know, has, uh, it's gonna have a little bit of longer legs um, with this one, so, but, I'm curious, are you guys into this? Not really that interested? And how much would you pay? If they sold it for 200, would you get it? If they, if they sold it for 600, would you get it? Um, and, and where are you, what's, what's your high limit? You know, not that specialized is gonna use it. Hopefully they don't, they don't need to make money on this. You know, it's just a replacement part uh, that they sell, give to the consumers as a, uh, a, a, a kind of as a bonus for, uh, using their product. All right. Thanks a ton. So here we go. Now we have a Levo and we have the Mastermind TCU. I just did a five minute swap. This is the old one and this is the new one. And as you can see, it works. One thing I wanted to mention was in this old one, your surface, this play surface is right here. So you're wondering, how are they gonna fit a computer in there? So what they did is they raised the whole thing. So the whole thing has a lot more real estate but it's the same hole on your frame. So it's brilliant, okay? So now I'm gonna just show you, prove that it works. Eco Trail Turbo. And go through the screens. It's all working. And let's see, Microtune. I wanna see that. Trail, so it's a trail, right? I'm gonna go Microtune. Boom, and now I'm on Microtune. So that's the Levo, now we put it on the Levo SL. And here's a little demonstration. Something really cool, we put the charging plug in and the charging status actually shows up on the Levo SL. It doesn't show up on the Levo or the Gen 3 Levo, and that's because those bikes share the same charging and discharging or usage port. So whenever you're charging, it's not connected to the motor or the TCU. The Levo SL, however, is permanently connected. It's not a removable battery. So you could really see the status of the charge, which is really cool because you can see it go up 1% and it'll tell you how long it's gonna take to charge. So there's the plug of the Levo SL. So now we're gonna turn it on show you normal operation. 
turn it on, the S comes on, and you get a little warning screen saying component swap. This uh, we believe this will go away once this is a fully supported product. We just stole this off the Gen 3 Levo we have for test. And right there shows you eco mode, the speed, and battery mode, and the time. So four pieces of data. And this is all controlled by your handlebar. So we'll try to display the handlebar as well. So three buttons on the handlebar, plus, minus, and then a screen button. So hitting the plus goes to trail and turbo, minus goes in reverse, turns it off. And then hitting the screen button lets you paginate through the many screens. So you can have, I don't know, 10, 12 screens on this. There's about 20 to 30 data points that you can display. It comes with, the as a default, it comes with like two screens. So it's as intensive or as simple as you want. You can even turn this whole screen off. You know, maybe it's at night or you don't want you don't want it to call attention to anything. So very configurable and it's easy to do with their app. Mission control will control it. You'll have a new screen uh, called display, I believe. And there you go. So a lot of pieces of data. The time is handy. We love it because it actually shows you if you're late <laughs> and if you need to use more assist to get back home quickly. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, what's that? Consumption. You know, what's what's the rate of your consumption? Uh, how much battery you have left? And battery goes without saying. Shimano sucks and five bar system. Ten bar system is good that the Levo uses, but ten bar, you can't tell whether it's 91% or 100%. And you really have to see a bar turn off to know that hey, I'm at I'm at 90 now. You know, at the minute it turns off, the second that it turns off. But uh, when it's one to 100 granularity, then you know exactly when you're at 90 or 89. And it really helps you judge your uh, consumption and your range. Okay, next screen here is pretty cool. It's the how long you've been riding distance and altitude this, this is a classic uh, cyclometer stuff uh, and the TCU mastermind TCU definitely has it and check this out right before as you ride you zero it out uh, just by hitting the minus button for a long time for two seconds so so you get to see how many feet you climbed in real time uh, no need for an app or anything so quite a handy tool See what other screen we have. Right there we have time, consumption, gradient. We have an inclinometer, so it tells you how steep your trail is that you're tackling. And then something uh, as you know, more battery, more estimate. So you can duplicate your fields, make them display bigger and whatnot. And I think the best way is to just display all your data that's available and see what what speaks to you, what, what comes in handy to you, what screens you are on the most often. Um, range trend, it tells you if you're ranging good or ranging bad. <laughs> Usually you'll range trend lower as you get tired. So here's something, probably the coolest thing, the last thing we'll show you is rider power and motor power. Uh, and this really illustrates that the e-bike is a combination of the motor and yourself. and if you can isolate the two, then you know exactly how hard you're working, you know exactly how hard the motor's working. And all these e-bikes, they have a torque sensor, so they, a power meter, so they know it. Uh, but this Mastermind TCU is the first one to display it uh, conveniently in real time. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. And, and remember that it's compatible, but it's not yet available. The... Um, you know, so let's wait, wait patiently, but uh, good news for all our old uh, Levos, Levos cells and Kinevos. Thank you.